Now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive. State cannabis regulators are taking a close look at the books of one of Rhode Island's biggest marijuana businesses. We've learned the Slater Compassion Center is under scrutiny after multiple red flags suggested potential cash flow problems there. This even though the business has pulled in millions since recreational marijuana sales began. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. The first sign of a problem came earlier this year when the Slater Compassion Center bounced a half million dollar check to renew its state license not once, but twice. The Thomas C. Slater Compassion Center is one of the most prominent and lucrative marijuana companies in Rhode Island. Records show through the first five months of recreational marijuana sales in the state, the company reported $12 million in sales. But emails Target 12 obtained through public records requests to the State Office of Cannabis Regulation raise questions about the company's finances. In this January email, state regulators said they'd heard from Slater's chief operating officer, writing he notified me that Slater's check has come back twice insufficient. He'll be getting a cashier's check for the full amount of $500,000. The money was to renew the company's state license. Slater eventually paid the bill. But documents show at the same time, Slater was also falling behind on paying cultivators who grow the cannabis that Slater sells. In the first four months of this year, Slater owed about a half million dollars to more than a dozen cultivators. In response, state regulators brought Slater executives in for a meeting in May and are taking a closer look at the company's finances. A spokesperson for Slater denied Target 12's request for an interview but said in an email they don't have cash flow problems and that the check bounced twice because the state didn't warn them there was insufficient funds the first time. He attributed the lack of money to a simple bookkeeping issue, adding they are fully cooperating with state regulators. Slater claims they are now up to date with their payments to cultivators. The company attributed some of their financial struggles to adjusting to the new recreational market, saying when legal sales began in December, we all anticipated a more robust market. However, demand has not met initial expectations. The messages also show there may have been an inventory issue at Slater with 1,400 products missing. An internal email says company officials were looking into the possibility of a theft, but a spokesperson now says the error appears to be duplicate entries or incorrect counting. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.